Dominic Barbary was born in Italy the 22nd of June 1792 and would come to be known as the Apostle of England. The son of farmers, Dominic joined the Passionist Order, an order founded by Saint Paul of the Cross with a special emphasis on and devotion to the Passion of Jesus Christ. Their emblem is the Sacred Heart of Jesus surmounted by a cross which is sewn into the clothing of its members. The founder, Saint Paul of the Cross, had a great fervour for converting England. Dominic had befriended the Passionists as a young man and served daily mass with them. He too would be given a powerful zeal for England in his heart by the Sacred Heart of Jesus and dedicate his life for its conversion. For England, Saint Dominic Barbary lived. For England, he worked and offered himself as a victim. And for England, he died. Dominic Barbary was greatly interested in the Oxford movement and wrote a letter to university professors at Oxford telling them of his hopes for the conversion of England and his belief that the men of Oxford would be instrumental in this. Through the help of Ignatius Spencer, the son of the second Earl Spencer, who had converted from Anglicanism to the Roman Catholic Church and who would also enter the Passionist Order to spend his life working for the conversion of England to the Catholic faith, Dominic's letter eventually ended up in the hands of John Henry Newman's friend, John de Brie Delgarnes, who was residing with Newman at Littlemore. Dominic and John then wrote regular letters to one another. Dominic was eventually sent to England in 1841. At first, people were hostile and violent towards this little Italian priest in his strange religious habit but he gradually won over the hearts of many. He was a zealous missionary in England, showing history that God had indeed formed this little Italian Passionist priest to be his apostle of the second spring. People came to love him and respect him, and he did much good for the Catholic faith in England. In October 1845, Dominic Barbary visited Littlemore John Henry Newman tells us how Dominic Barbary arrived, soaked from the rain, and as he was drying himself by the fire, Newman knelt down before him and asked to be received into the Catholic Church. Two of Newman's companions at Littlemore were also received into the Catholic Church, and Dominic Barbary heard their confessions and celebrated Mass for them the following morning.